Hey, rich friends, it's your girl Cha Cha reporting live from The Money Mantra, and we are back with another Forex Education video. I do want to thank everybody, whether you are a new or returning subscriber, for coming to my channel and deciding to watch one of my videos today. I try to keep my content short and sweet because you don't need these long, drawn out explanations to understand what the market is doing. So if your goal is to become an independent and profitable trader, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel and drop a seven in the chat anytime I say something that makes sense. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the use of indicators in trading because a lot of people tend to think that you need them when in fact, you really don't. You can just trade with strictly price action, but the indicators do add that additional confirmation to help you decide what you should do, where you should enter, and where you should exit your trades. So I'm going to be using Trade Locker today. And Trade Locker is a trading platform that you can access. You just have to find a broker that will allow you to connect it to this. Now, once you are in your Trade Locker demo account, this is what your chart will look like. I'm currently using my laptop, but it will be almost identical on your mobile phone. So the first thing we're going to talk about is market structure, because this is what is going to help us determine what our entry should be, what our exit should be, where we're taking profit and where we are cutting our losses. So what you'll notice is that the market will sometimes be going up. This is known as an uptrend, right? And it can continue to climb. And then sometimes the market will be going down where price continues to fall. Now, you can distinguish an uptrend by three different ways. If you see that there are a lot of green candles, if you see that the shape seems to be pushing up, or the market is creating higher highs and higher lows, that means that it is an uptrend versus a downtrend where you'll see more red candles than green candles. The shape will look like it's going down. And you'll see that these lower highs, right, and lower lows are being created. Now, this is important because if you know that the market has a high point here and is going to be selling, you know where to set your take profits because they'll be at previous lows. So, for example, if this was our area of resistance, meaning every time price pushed into the zone, it came back down. Once the market officially started to fall, we can look back in the past and use these previous areas of support as our take profits. Here's another one. As the market continues to fall, this will be an additional area where you could have taken profit. Now, of course, everything makes sense in retrospect, but if you were looking at the market in real time, you can use price action for example notice where the market is resisting and use these opportunities to sell or notice places in the market where price is being supported and you can use these as opportunities to buy now indicators just confirm this a little bit more so again let's focus on this section of our chart for a while and we're going to pay attention to this particular area right here. I want us to pay attention to this green candle and this red candle. Now, one indicator that I love to use is the stochastic. We are going to go ahead and turn the stochastic on. <clears throat> or if you don't have the stochastic on your chart and you would like to add an indicator on Trade Locker, you can find the indicators tab at the top. You can click on it and I'm going to search for stochastic. Now, we can see that our stochastic has been added to our chart. Now, remember, when we first looked at this, we said this was an area of resistance. With the naked eye, we can see that price was pushed to this area, and then price sold down. Price was pushed to this area, and then price also sold down. Now, what you'll notice is that whenever there is resistance, the stochastic will tend to be facing down as well. Here we meet another area of resistance. Here we see the stochastic is facing down. Here we meet another area of resistance. Here 
we can see the stochastic is facing down. Now for this cell example, I want you guys to notice some other things about the stochastic once the market is selling. We can see that the stochastic has two lines. The orange line is considered the slow line and the blue line is considered the fast line. If you notice that the orange line is above the blue line, that's an indicator for me that the market is going to sell. So let's just look at the three selling examples that we highlighted and then look at not only was the stochastic facing down, but the orange line was on top of the blue line. Here's another example where we see some resistance in the market. We also have that stochastic facing down. So the stochastic is a really great indicator to help you identify buys or sells. And of course, for a buy, you would see that the market was at a demand area or a place of support. And then you would notice that the stochastic was facing up. You would notice that the blue line was on top this time. So let's look at this example and this example. And we can also see that this was a place in the market where price was actually pushed up as well. So the stochastic is really cool for helping you determine if you should enter your trades. But another way I like to use the stochastic is it helps me know when I should exit my trades. Now, if this is making sense so far, just go ahead and drop a seven down below in the chat. And make sure that you subscribe so that you can see more videos like this. Now, again, if I'm going to be entering my trade for a sell once the stochastic has crossed down, is facing down, and the orange is above the blue, remember, we still can target these previous lows for our TPs. Once the market starts to go back up on the stochastic, this is where you can exit the trade or you can set your stop loss. So again, if you're in a selling trade, you would want to enter as long as the stochastic is facing down and the orange is above the blue. And you would want to exit once the stochastic starts to show signs of a reversal by facing up and that blue line is above the orange. Now I'm going to take all of these drawings off of my chart and I'm just going to scroll and I want you guys to pay attention to the stochastic and let me know if you can see how this would be a great indicator for entering buys and sells. Now, remember, you can trade strictly off of price action or you can use indicators to help you. Now, I will post more videos to show you how you can use indicators to build on your trading strategy. And we can even see that this is happening in real time. We have an area of resistance where the market pushed into this zone multiple times before it decided to come down. We can also see that our stochastic is facing down with that orange line being on top. Now, if we were to enter this trade for a sell, we would set our take profits at previous low. So that could be a TP1, right? This could be your TP2 and you would set your stop loss above the previous high, right? Because if it's selling, it should not be creating higher highs because that is not a sign of a selling market. Now, if this video made sense and you learned something new today, just go ahead and drop a seven in the chat or leave me a comment below to let me know what your favorite indicator is. Now, if you have any additional questions, you can contact me by leaving a question down below in the comment box or send me a message on threads or Instagram. But I really hope that this video was helpful. That's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, rich friends.